Remember that every complete sentence, and in fact, every complete clause, needs to have at least one main verb. Sometimes, however, a sentence or a clause will accidentally use a verbal, a group of words whose root word is a verb but that functions like a modifier or a noun, instead of a verb. This always results in a fragment. Here's an example. This sentence reads, her disguise is a magician's assistant obscuring her true occupation, which was that of a detective investigating a murder. This is a long sentence, but it's nonetheless a fragment, because obscuring, which should be the main verb of the sentence, is in fact a verbal, a participle, modifying disguise. If we rewrite the sentence using a main verb, we get her disguise as a magician's assistant obscured her true occupation which was that of a detective investigating a murder. Obscured is a main verb in the past tense, and this is a complete sentence. Sometimes, the use of a verbal where a verb is required makes a clause or just a part of a sentence a fragment, but the sentence is still grammatically wrong. Look at this. Though Africa, still suffering from the effects of imperialism, much of the continent has made great strides toward political stability. The second half of this sentence appears to be correct. Continent does take the main verb has made. However, the first part, the dependent clause, does not have a main verb. Suffering is a participle, not a main verb, and needs to be rewritten like this. Though Africa still suffers from the effects of imperialism, much of the continent has made great strides towards political stability. This is the correct way to write this sentence.